Good morning. Welcome back to State of the Map US. <laughs> Everyone have a good day yesterday? Good enough to come back for day two, so thanks for returning. <laughs> um, who uh, made it to the B2B last night? Did you have a good time? Did you learn something new? Get a new job? <laughs> All right. I also, the scavenger hunt seem to be very successful. Um, so I think we should clap for our winners. Are the swans in the house? Where are the swans? Raise your hands high. <laughs> in second place, we had a very clever name, NACL H2O Mappers. What does that mean? Who can get it first? <laughs> oh, come on. You guys are too smart. <laughs> and then in third place, we had Liftoff. I wonder where they work. Um, <laughs> so thanks, and thanks to Martine and the Salt Lake team for putting that together. Um, we ordered you cooler weather for exploring the city, but it didn't come through, so maybe next time. So this morning, I'm going to share a little bit about um, your host organization, OpenStreetMap US. Uh, we talked a little bit about our work yesterday, um, but figured you might as well know who's behind all of this and, and maybe can get involved in some of the stuff we're working on. First, meet the team. Um, it's not a big team, but it's mighty. Um, we've got Quincy, who's our tech lead. Um, Nellie Blair there in the back, who lugs behind the scenes, but does all kinds of things and wears about 50 hats. Um, and I've been serving as executive director for about five years. The great news looking ahead, we're going to be hiring for two more roles, which will be really beneficial to the org. Um, we're going to be hiring for, for a program coordinator um, and an engineer to support our charter projects. We've already closed applications, though, so if you missed it. <laughs> uh, like I said, we're also governed by a volunteer board. We have elections every year. Volunteers serve for two years as a board uh, member, and they are all here, which is fantastic. So if you haven't met the board, uh, please do. We've got Matthew Win Wilden, Diane Fritz, Harrison Devine, Levente Juhas, <laughs> and Priyanka Miller. We want to raise your hands. Um, thank you for your service. We meet every month, and they get to hear me whine, so thank you for, for doing that. <laughs> um, so what does OpenStreetMap US do? Um, well, for the first decade or so, we, we really focused on throwing this conference. So this is our 12th annual. In the last five years, we've started to become even more of a convener. Uh, we, we know that there's so many stakeholders out there from different sectors that, that convene around OpenStreetMap, and in the US, we hope to be, you know, continue to be that, that group that brings together all those stakeholders in kind of a neutral environment to solve problems, collaborate, um, and innovate, really. So, you know, we have um, a number of working groups that I'll talk about, but that's kind of where we sit, is at that intersection of, of all the folks who, who use and, and contribute to OSM. So, since the last state of the map US, we did this last year since Tucson, so since Rich Richmond, there's a few things that have happened with the org that I'm happy to share. Um, we've seen a um, 38% increase in our individual membership, uh, which is pretty good, actually. And I think we've already, yeah. <laughs> We've got this many more at this year's conference. So um, <laughs> if you're interested in winning a t-shirt that says, I would like someone to check my edits for your toddler, you better get your name in this. <laughs> uh, we'll be doing the raffle at the end of the day today and distributing all that fun um, OSN swag. So come see us at the OSN US desk. And also that puzzle's not done yet. Come on, y'all. <laughs> get that puzzle finished. We also have seen a big increase in organizational membership. We welcomed one, two, three new members in the last few months um, and created a community tier um, for small government and small business. Uh, and we had our first county join, Kendall County, Illinois, a county that's doing a lot of work with OSM um, and, and actually really leading the charge within local government uh, and doing some really cool stuff uh, with the work that we all do. We have a few new partnerships. Um, we partnered with URS's GIS Corps. Um, they 
our group of professional GIS folks who are looking for projects to work on. So we're going to start um, working with them on, on mapping, but also hopefully some tool development and other things uh, to get their core involved in OSM. Our trail stewardship initiative was accepted as a 1% for the Planet Partner, which will enable us to fundraise with all of those other members of 1% for the Planet, which is really exciting. And we were approved to distribute um, presidential volunteer service awards to our volunteers, um, a program that once we have a program coordinator, we'll get off the ground. Um, so think about that. We're going we're gonna to give award, awards every year. Um, we will take nominations and look for our newsletter when that, when that comes open. We're not starting any more after this because they won't fit on the slide, but we started two more working groups uh, this year. Um, the OSM Imagery Working Group. Uh, how many people have been to that one? Anybody? Great. Um, you know, we all know how important imagery is to the OpenStreetMap project. Um, so this is a global working group bringing together folks interested in improving the way that we utilize and um, access imagery for mapping and um, potentially re reframing how we bring imagery into the project. Um, we also launched the pedestrian working group just a few months ago. How many folks have been to that one? Awesome, I saw a big uptick in the submissions about pedestrian uh, mapping after that launch. So um, welcome to all those and, and thanks to my co-chair, um, Chad, who's been helping to run that. If you have questions about that, definitely ask him. <laughs> Uh, we have a government working group. That's one of our longer standing working groups. Um, so state, local, federal. We've been meeting for about five years um, in this working group once a month. How many people are in the government working group? All right, we need more hands on that one. So if you <laughs> state of the map, U.S. planning committee. Um, we couldn't run this event without them. It changes every year. Uh, the governance committee, we have a few members here. They, they they kind of keep an eye on our governance, but also help to uh, moderate our code of conduct. Um, the Trails Working Group, which we're, you heard a lot about already, um, has been, been meeting for the last three years. Let's, let's raise, raise our hands on that one. How many people have been to that one? A few more. Um, how many do I miss? And the Collaborators Think. So this is a group of companies that we meet every month talking about how, we're, how they're using OSM and where they're mapping. So. Um, that's also open to folks interested in joining. If you're interested in joining any of these working groups, you can go to openstreetmap.us and look at uh, get involved, and you can sign up, and you're invited. So, great. We were involved in two other events, uh, Mapping USA. We had it in January this year. We had 450 people sign up, so good thing it was virtual, um, and 26 speakers. Uh, all of those recordings are available on our website, um, and. We plan to continue doing Mapping USA. It's, it's been great to kind of counterbalance state of the map, and for folks that can't travel, um, it's a way for them to get involved and share their, share their work. We're also a presenting partner for Fed Geo Day, which is an annual event in Washington, DC, and sometimes it moves. Um, it's a one-day event, and if you haven't been to it, it's, it's kind of the cross-section of the federal government and open source and open data, um, and it's a good time. We continue to build out our program offerings. Um, Teach OSM, I think Stephen presented yesterday about our education initiatives, uh, Mapping for Impact. Uh, we continue to look for partners to support their mapping. Um, Kaboom was one of our partners. We mapped, you all mapped, all the playgrounds in Colorado to support their uh, play equity initiatives. And then the Trail Stewardship Initiative continues to grow and um, push forward. We completed our, our first Utah Trails uh, task, uh, Brace County National Park, alongside with, with the manager of Brace County and supporting that project uh, to update all the attributes within the park. So when that data is then served through apps and, and other means of serving it to the public, um, people know if they can bring their dogs or if it's wide enough for accessibility, bless you. <laughs> um, so that, that's been exciting and we're going to be moving into um, U.S. Forest Service and Dixie National Forest is going to be our next uh, pilot area. So look for those tasks and definitely jump in if you want to map. I'm going to invite uh, Quincy on stage to talk about charter projects and some other great updates. Thanks. Thanks, Maggie. 
Um, so we have a lot of tech uh, going on at OpenStreetMap US as well. Uh, one of the great programs that started in the last couple of years was the Charter Project program in which um, different community projects um, that need a home uh, at a nonprofit like OpenStreetMap US and able to uh, be maintained and, and grown um, have that support. Um, so if you don't know any of these projects, there's uh, Open Historical Map, which is building the most complete, most out-of-date map um, ever. <laughs> it's very exciting. Um, OSM Cha, which is, the I, I think it's the ultimate OpenStreetMap um, validator. If you're worried about uh, data quality in OpenStreetMap, OSM Cha lets you find all um, uh, the change sets that are coming in and, and review them. And MapRoulette, which, um, sort of gamifies uh, the updating of tasks in OpenStreetMap and lets um, people find little micro uh, tasks in which they can map. And there's representatives from all of these projects here. If you haven't met them, you can ask around and learn more and get involved. Um, big milestone this year is that we have, uh, the OSM Cha team really has uh, migrated the infrastructure from its long-term home at Mapbox to um, its uh, OpenStreetMap US supported infrastructure. Uh, we now have our own uh, GitHub um, organization in which all the uh, OSM Cha repositories are living. Um, so that was a big lift, so uh, a lot of thanks to the OSM Cha team for getting that done. Uh, we have other tech and tools that we maintain internally. Um, it's all open source and, and the community can also uh, show up and uh, hack on these two. We have our own instance of the tasking manager for the uh, US community to uh, to um, organize their own mapping campaigns around uh, the country and the world. Um, we have field papers, which allows you to make a paper atlas and go around and map offline. Um, and that's a project that came to us uh, from Statement Design uh, last year. And a public domain map, which is allowing us to uh, have um, uh, government and other public domain licensed data be uh, updated um, using the OpenStreetMap data format and then later imported into OpenStreetMap if, uh, if relevant. And also Teach OSM Tasking Manager, which we are in the process of um, bringing uh, back to OpenStreetMap US, Open US infrastructure. Um, part of our public domain map um, project has grown this year as we have uh, now partnering with North Carolina Emer Emergency Management to pilot building footprints. So if um, it's as live now, so you can go and uh, help update uh, official government data. So if there's 911 calls in Carmel County, North Carolina, then they'll know where the building is to go and answer that call. Um, we also have the Mapillary Camera Grant Program, which we're uh, very thankful for. Um, we're able to distribute this year 20 uh, cameras for people to collect street level imagery and contribute it back to the community. And this is really great because it brings um, street level imagery collection to people in places that uh, might not otherwise be able to collect that. Um, last year we had the OpenStreetMap US website redesign and at Mapping USA this year we announced that we are open sourcing the theme for that. Um, it's called Dogwood and there's um, a talk on that uh, at this conference of people who are able to use the tech that we built to power their own uh, OpenStreetMap um, community websites. We also have a new swag store, a lot of cool designs. Um, some of them are uh, promoted over at our table. You can take a look. Um, uh, all these proceeds go to helping our organization. If you have an idea for a, a cool shirt or something that uh, you want to exist, then we can uh, maybe design that and get that available for sale as well. Um, and now a special announcement. <laughs> uh, last year, we unveiled the new website, and on that we um, embedded the OpenStreetMap Americana map style, which is uh, a cool community project that has been trying to replicate the, um, the rich history of paper highway maps in the United States and North America um, in a vector tile format. And uh, we embedded it in our site, but we didn't have too much to do with the back end. But um, over the past uh, few weeks, we've been able to take on the, um, the generation and the hosting of the vector tiles that are powering this. Um, so at this point, we basically have our own OpenStreetMap US community tile service that um, is supporting the Americana project and 
is also able to support any other small community projects that um, just need an OpenStreetMap vector tile source in order to, to power their base map. Um, so that's really exciting uh, to be able to add this to our uh, projects. <laughs> And with that, I'll hand it back over to Maggie. Yeah. Height differential there. <laughs> Thanks, Quincy. And I apologize for this slide in advance. I made it this morning. Um, <laughs> but a look ahead. Um, next year, we're going to be celebrating our 15th anniversary as an organization, which is kind of unbelievable and amazing. Um, so. <laughs> You also may have seen Quincy's talk yesterday, but we're, we're gonna be working on a couple of new projects, Open Trail Map. Um, we're currently in kind of a fundraising stage for that to be able to build that out and, and make that a, a really great tool for updating attributes on trails across the country. Um, anybody guess what the third one is? <laughs> um, we are currently working on an OSM sandbox, um, an offline editing environment for um, learning, uh, education, and training. So um, look for that maybe in the fall. <laughs> um, so currently a project we're gonna be testing out with some of our high school and, and college partners uh, within our education working group. Whoa, I forgot to list them. Um, there is an education working group as well, there's eight. So um, we'll be testing it there and then hopefully having it for use with the community uh, by the end of the year. Tonight, uh, we have one more party for all of you. Um, we mentioned it yesterday, but there's going to be a reception at the Utah Museum of Fine Arts from 7 to 10 p.m. Um, we'll have food and drinks and live music um, from a jazz string band. Um, so hope to see you there. We also sent out a message yesterday. If you have someone traveling with you, a spouse or a friend or something, you can add a plus one. We do have a little bit of a limit on that because we know we could run out of beer pretty quickly with this group. <laughs> um, Luke Combs is present. Is, is anybody going to that concert tonight? Because it's happening on campus. So the parking is going to be a little tricky down there because it's free on Saturdays. So if you are traveling to UMFA tonight, you might want to take tracks. Um, it gets up. You can disembark pretty close by. Uh, but parking might be tricky, even though the lot I thought was available is free. Um, so. With that, I would like to invite today's keynote, um, Dr. Jordan Smith, to talk about uh, the power of participatory GIS in the management of America's public lands. Welcome, Jordan. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. 